in her physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated, could subject the violator to ejection may result in penalties being assessed against your team. So each one is requested to take personal responsibility for keeping this competition at a high level of good sportsmanship. Please let the players play. The coaches coach, the refs officiate, we ask fans to always cheer for your team, never boo, always display good sportsmanship and positivity. We don't want any names being called out on the field as well. All right, let's play ball. Bounds at the 38-yard line, brings up second and two. Fresh off her sweet 16. Personal foul against Passaic. Going the other way. That's a 10 yard penalty. Which brings up a third and twenty nine. Indians starting quarterback is Junior Josiah Renoso. Last season in the sophomore year in the second team of all conference on it. All right, that's encroachment outside. Against the Mountaineers brings up third and 24. Scratch that. A defensive encroachment is an automatic first down. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a dead ball at the spot, which brings up now second and eight for Pusey. for the Indians. Brings it across for a first down. Nice play from where she was met by number seven, Jasmine Nagui. the Mountaineer near midline, but she looks like there is a personal foul on a block against the Mountaineers, which will back them up 10 yards from, I believe, the spot of the foul. So defensive penalty call against the Mountaineers, but 
the interception still stays an interception. Can't change that back. Great. No so. It's a little air pass there. That was a tough one, you know. Great interception. Yeah, great adjustment. Difficult catch for me. Great adjustment. So we'll get our look for the first time today at this West Orange offense. They're led by a freshman at quarterback. It's number 10. Eliana Davis she played solid this season, 30 of 54 on the year, 237 yards. Davis will swing that one out. Uh, Mountain will start off at the 19 yard line. First play from the scrimmage is an incompletion. Pass was intended to Kamaya Jean Lewis. Dennis completes the, the pass again to Kamaya Jean Lewis. She picks up about seven on the play, brings up third and 13. I'm sorry, second and 13. Dennis completes the pass to number 19, Gabby Sulit, 11. Jasmine McHugh with a great play on special teams, dropping down number 12 at the 22-yard line. Great punt by number one, Nayara Bodie. Hits the turf. Set up a second down. Is place born dead for a two year loss. Sank center. Yes, second and 20. Jalen Perez. That's a big handoff. Yes, so. He's going to be sacked there. And that's a big play by number 23, the Mountaineers, Jacinia Gardner, with the sack. Pass is completed. So number, I believe it was five, four of the Indians. She picks up five and was stopped by number 22, Nola Duncan. Brings up fourth down and 14. Looks like the Indians have decided to punt. There's no fake punts in girls' flag football this year. So they are gonna punt it. If the ball hits the ground, it's dead at the spot where it touches the ground. If it's caught in the air, it can be returned. Balls down at the 21 yard line. Very yeah. nice punt from the we'll say. West Orange offense getting back out there. 30 seconds. We'll be back. Thank you. 
Seven of the safe. She takes it to the Mountaineer 33 yard line. So, one play after one thing, but say, getting that ball right back. It's a big play for the say in the Mountaineer's territory. You got great field position, especially Grant. That's number seven, Desiree Santana's first interception. So, each team now with one turnover. So we'll give it. Hand off to Grisella Hernandez. Still running as Hernandez, cutting through, and finally being brought down. Hard foot for that. And it's number four for the Indians. With a big rush. Takes it to the mountain at a 22 yard line. Second and two. So second down here. Say. The give is to number seven, Desiree Santana. Short. We'll see where the ref spotted. That was a great play by Ayana Mormon of Mountaineers. But not before the Indians picked up a first down. It'll be first and goal at the 19 yard line. So, first and goal here in a little over 11 minutes. The same. They have the first real scoring opportunity. Either score. Nelson dropping back. The pitcher and Hogan makes the catch. Still going to Shamara Hogan. The flag is. The flag is down. The stop is made at the Mountaineer. So it's 17 yard line, there's two yards picked up on that completion. So second down at about eight coming up. Hogan's made a bunch of key catches here. And also we'll get that one out for the man does. Hernandez racing to the sideline. We'll get the Indians even closer to score. And that's number four for the Indians. Takes it across the 10 yard line. Brings up third and eight. Third and goal from the eight yard line. Goal coming up now, let's say. This is really two down territory. So, dropping back, stepping through, we'll get that one out before the sack. And it looks like the call is an incomplete pass. Fourth down and eight. Fourth down coming up here. The ball offense will stay out there. So no field goal for us. Let's see if West Orange's defense remains strong. Hold the Indians out of the end zone. So dropping back, evades the pressure. Short pass to a wide open receiver. That's a touchdown for the touchdown Indians. For say. Great throw. Great throw. And then even with that touchdown, match. they have a choice to either take it from the three yard line for a one point extra point. They could back it up to the ten yard line, which would be a two point conversion. We're all the way to twenty, which would be a three point conversion. They're opting to go for one. So a one-point try coming up here. Hermoso dropping back. She'll throw to the corner with that one a little bit. And that's an incompletion. So, so your score is Passaic 6, West Orange 0, with just a little over 8 and a half minutes left in the first half. Eight minutes remain here. And a big, big touchdown. Passaic. His offense getting back out there, and they're looking to respond. 
Davis, who threw an interception the last time she was out. But look at that one out. There's G. Lewis. And a solid flag pull on the sideline. That's number 20. Number 20, John making Harrell. a touchdown saving tackle. But not before the Mountaineers pick up four, second down, 16. Second down coming up for Davis. I should think the handoff, the rolling to her right. Wide open is Nola Duncan, but another big play. That's Nola Duncan on the reception. She picks up about three on the play. Three yard give. Brings up third. Thirteen. Davis donning number 46 today. Usually wears number 10. Maybe a little uh, confusion to switch, to say, or maybe she just didn't do it on. That's an obvious full start there coming against Gabby Seward. Saints defense. Doing their job, getting Seward to jump. Okay, we had a false start on the play. Brings the Mountaineers back five yards. Third down coming up here. Davis makes a handoff, but immediate pressure coming in. She'll get it out to Duncan. Toe tapping on the sideline is Noah Duncan. And the third flag for the row. Dennis completes the pass to Noah Duncan. It's not before she was, or she was stopped at the 27 yard line. I mean, these Indians, they are really. Mountaineers have elected to punt. Punt unit coming out. Yeah, you mentioned it. Saints defense remaining strong. High punt in the air. Hogan makes way over. Hogan trying to go to her right. We got her flag pulled along the 32 yard line. And that was Niera Bodie on the punt. Bodie. The save was down. A little over five minutes. And number 19, Gabby Sulit. On their lead here. At the 30 yard line. Last time the Indians were on offense, Messiah Reynoso found Desiree Santana in the end zone with a score. The one point conversion was incomplete to pass, so to say, on top of the Mountaineers, 6 to 0. Inside handoff. That's Hernandez still going. She got her flag pulled just around midfield. It's number four, Goliath. Number four is tackled by number four of the Mountaineers, and that's MJ. Minus on the tackle. Brings up second down and two. Second and short coming up from the Indians. His name just moved us. This ball at will. Dean Lewis bringing the pressure as Renoso will try to run for it. Extending to the fly line. And the refs will say first down. Also doing well using her legs there. Extending the drive for the Indians. First down. That's another inside handoff. And a quick flag pull there. As two Mountaineers to the deck. Big collision right there. Big collision, but they get up just fine. Yep. That's Christina Gardner. Gardner had a sack earlier in this game. And a big pull there. The sun shining here. Rain in the early going. That's a big handoff there. Flag on the ground. The pull was made by number 23, Justina Gardner. But 
Let's see what the refs say. Formation call. I'll have to say it. The refs will talk that over. The SAG are coaches. They have two head coaches Casey and your Rodder, Caitlin and Azura. As the refs will pick up the flag there after a protest. Apparently, talking to the refs does work. Second and third down. That's Santana will come to the motion. was supposed to be a hard count. As we see the jump, both sides pointing to each other. Penalty's going to come on the offense as the center didn't snap the ball. So that'll back up the Indians five yards. So a lot of pressure. And she'll throw to the sideline. It's open there for the catch. But a quick pull. Number 19, Gabby Sewell. Two minutes on the clock. That's a big first down there. Reynoso to Hogan. That connection still going strong as we near the end of this first half. All right, we got fourth down here. Fourth and... It looks to be 14. the half and we stop the clock and the clock will be played like the football rules and that if there's an incompletion we stop the play so if you didn't hear and that's the not your ball when the clock reaches one minute we play like real football I'm not saying it's even real football but uh, the clock will stop on an incompletion and out of bounds as a little bit of trickery here here comes Noah Duncan and a quick flag pull there as the clock will continue to run. Number 20 on the tackle on the reverse. Nola Duncan carries it for a few yards. There's a second down. 40 seconds left. He's had a bunch of key tackles for the Indians. That's 36 seconds remaining on the clock. That play taking up about half of the remaining time in this first half. As here's Davis dropping back. She'll put that one high there. Sue it. Can't make the adjustment, so the clock will stop there. Pass is broken up. Pass was intended to number 19, Gabby Sulit. Good defense there from number 7 of the Indians. Play is, the clock is stopped at 23 seconds left. Santana, who has an interception in this game, Third down and four. That's third and four now. Clock will resume on the snap. As Duncan goes towards the sideline, catch made there by number nine, Bailey Sampson. And another flag pulled by Brandon Carr. That's got to be your fifth or sixth early here in this game. Six seconds, clock running. It's been by West Orange two seconds remaining in the half. will be, this will be the last play, roughly the last play of the half.
here at Serena Stadium in West Orange. And the last play of this first half coming up here in the same. the end of the first half. Your score, Passaic Indians 6, Mountaineers 0. We're going to put five minutes on the board for halftime.
for this second half of action here. If you're just joining us, Passaic donning their white away jerseys. West Orange in their home blue jerseys. Uh, it was a competition of who has the cooler jerseys at uh, Killed West Orange. I think what happened right now. Little scoring summary. Only one touchdown in this game, and it was scored through the air. It was a pass from Josiah Reynoso to Desiree Santana. The West Orange starting on offense here. And Davis had a rough first half during the interception. That pass caught in the flag. Still holding. Josiah Oakley. The flag finally pulled. And that is number zero, Altamay Oakley. With an explosive first play to start this second half off. She picked up. Davis had a wide open for the 29 oh, yards. Big 29 Picking up the first down. Mountaineers man. ball on the 31 yard line, first and 11. That's an automatic first down after that big game. Davis may be starting to feel it here after a slow first half. He's not glad that Suet. But a swarming to say defense. It's a quick flag. And that's number 19. Dennis to number 19. Gabby Sulit for pick up one. Brings up second and ten. Nice pull there. Second down coming up from the Mountaineers. I like this matchup on the close side. At the bottom of your screen is Nolan Nolan. And Davis rolls right, we'll have to just throw it. Incomplete pass. pass. By Gene Lewis. Brings a third down. So West Orange's defense, sorry, offense. A little miscommunication. Let's go defense! Let's go And that's Noah Duncan on the reception. Across the 25 to the 23 yard line. It'll bring up fourth down. And four for the Mountaineers. Fourth and four. The West Orange offense stayed out there. They might have to bring out the chains for this. Reception to Kamaya. Jean Lewis. And it's a total run down. Inches short of the first down. The safe Indians take over. At the 20 yard line. Mountaineers definitely unhappy with that call. It's a close one. But I'm going to have to agree with the rest. Head coach Andrew Missouri on the field arguing that call. It's where the ball is when the flag is pulled. Unfortunately, it's just shy of the first down for the Mountaineers. So we'll see the Indians' offense for the first time out here in the second half. Renoso remains a quarterback. Renoso will be sacked there. And with a sack for the Mountaineers, that's number two, Shanice Barino. 
mentioned it earlier in the broadcast. She's the younger sister of West Orange linebacker Chris Marino. I think he had something like 100 tackles in the sophomore. Marino, a, a real rock for the Mountaineers football team on the gridiron in the fall. As it knows, so we'll swing one in the sideline. Incomplete pass. Four. Third and 21. Tackles. Breaking up the pass brings up fourth down. And it looks like the Indians are going to punt. Yards on the game, but it looks like we might have tripping call against the Mountaineers. That'll set them back 10 yards. Maybe five yards. We'll see. in 10 for the Mountaineers. And she's brought down at about the 16 yard line. First and goal for the Mountaineers. First and goal coming up for West Orange. Four chances to score. Sakes defense knows they've got to dig in if they want to preserve the shutout. Dropping back, she'll air one out. 
16 yards on that score for the Mountaineers. That's Dennis to Duncan for six. And it looks like the Mountaineers are going to try to take the lead and go for one here at the three-yard line. Duncan, rolling to the right, the pressure comes. Dash comes back, Duncan has the ball, and stole the Duncan, giving the Mountaineers a one-point lead. With 14 minutes and 12 seconds remaining. Zags offense needs to respond, we'll see them. They look something like Mahomes to Kelsey. He had a connection here. Section steps out of bounds, but not before picking up 11. Brings up third down and 10. Wait, it looks like we may have a flag. Personal foul against West Orange. And it brings the ball to the 39 yard line. So I believe that's an automatic first down, too. It is. So first down for the say. Reynoso deep in shotgun. This is an interesting formation. It looks like a pyramid out there. Clock is stopped here. And now we're here. Not sure as much as that. Here's Noso. A lot of times she'll throw to the corner. Incomplete pass. Second down the line. Hogan, who had a bunch of interceptions in the first quarter, has been a little quieter here in the second quarter. Second Steps out of bounds, resulting in a save in the end first down at the Mountaineer 39 yard line. Looks like we have a timeout being called on the field. In 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I think we have an injury. Maybe. 
All right, here we go. First and 19 for the Indians. And the pass is complete for three yards to number 12. She was stopped by number six, combined with Gene Lewis of the Mountaineers. Second down, 16. sends Martinez in motion. Here's Reynoso stepping through and she'll keep it, but the sack is going to be made there. Two, Who else? Marino's but Shanice Marino. Second sack of the game. Incredibly important third, third down coming up for the third Indians percent. as they trail by one. West Orange's defense has forced one turnover in this game with an interception. As Santana comes in motion, Reynoso scanning with Meyer, and a big catch made there by Ashley Martinez. And it's the call here. We have flag pulled, it looks like. We'll see where the ref spotted. It is a reception. But Bring up say, fourth down. They say and short of the first down. Eight. So fourth down coming up here for Passaic. They've got to get about eight yards with a little under nine minutes remaining in this one. Incredibly important fourth down try coming up for the Indians. No, so we'll go to her left. She's gonna try to run for it. And Josiah Reynoso will be called short. So a turnover on down. Reynoso tried to scramble for the first down and didn't get it. West Orange is deep. Gets a flag or pushes her out of bounds. Nonetheless, it's a Mountaineer ball. He'll take over at about the 24 yard line. Under eight minutes. This is the second time Passaic has met the Mountaineers, with the first being at the Wayne Valley Invitational Tournament at Week Zero. I believe Passaic beat the Mountaineers. This is an out of conference the matchup between these two schools. Take over about seven and a half minutes Both left in this contest. Both play the Super Football Conference, which is actually the largest high school football conference in the county, in the country. Sorry, that is. West Orange playing in the Colonial Division, while the Sake are in the American. And the swing pass, high in the air, going to be caught. But an incredible flag pull there by um, number two, Jaden number Diaz. Number two, what a diving tackle. Yeah, that's off to her for athleticism. She tackles Layla Anderson, number 35 of the Mountaineers. The Sake have five home games left on five the games left on their two. season. The He'll go on the road against Patterson Eastside Friday night at 7, and then host the say Tech in an inner town rivalry game the following Friday at 6 p.m. West Orange, on the other hand, also at five more games. They'll go on the road at Livingston on Wednesday at 6 p.m. You can catch that one on D1 Media Pro's Twitter network. 
Baltimore hosting Milburn Friday night at 6 p.m. Also on D1 Media Pro right here as Davis running for it will go to the sideline and she'll go out. And that's Dennis. Picking up about eight yards on the play. Scramble out to the left, brings up third and six. So a 36 coming here. Dennis receiving instruction from the sideline. It's an audible. A little under six minutes remain. Here's Dennis on third down. She'll send one deep, and that pass is going to be intercepted, the one thing that couldn't happen. Ashley Martinez. And she returns it for about 10 yards to the Mountaineer 49-yard line. The same. Get the turnover they need. As Reynoso has a chance to lead a potential game-winning drive for the Indians here. These are the situations that make great players. As Reynoso on first down will send one. The catch made by Hernandez. And a nice move, but a flag pull there by Shinji Zabrino. And with that reception, Pisek picks up the first down. It's first and about 11. Tackle made by number two, Shanice Marino. First down again. As here's Reynoso in shotgun. Reynoso will send a short pass. That pass caught by Hogan. And six yards picked up on the play. Reception to number 12. Pisek. Moves the ball to the Mountaineer 25 yard line. With just a little over four minutes to play left in this game. Say, trailing by one to the Mountaineers. There's Renoso looking to her right. She's got a wide open Ashley Martinez. And Martinez, who had the interception, the end down is a fullback. Makes it after a completion. There. And it looks to be a little bit shy of the first down. Brings up third and a short one. So a real inches play coming up here for Pase. Third and one. Definitely two down territory as we know so. Send one. Hernandez makes a great adjustment. And that's number she four on the play. She picks up the Indian first down. She moves into the red zone and will bring up first and goal from the Mountaineer 14 yard line. West Orange has been bent over. As under three minutes remain, here's Renoso. Renoso has a wide open receiver. And, and that's a touchdown, touchdown Desiree for Santana Pesaic. for second of the game as Pesaic retake the lead here. The Mountaineers call a timeout. Great pass and even better for us. So final timeout taken by West Orange. As they are out of timeouts. But a touchdown puts Pesaic on top with 12 to 7 pending the two point conversion. That's the second time Reynoso's found Santana in the end zone. A little collapse in the West Orange secondary. Santana was wide open there. Yeah, they've had a great game. A great defensive game. That was a big play that they missed. Yeah, the Mountaineers defense, especially their secondary in particular, was pretty strong. They had an interception as well in the first half. It was hopefully in all play But just a little miscommunication. Say on top, 12 to 7, 239 
All right, the site is going to go for a two-point conversion here. They line up at their 10-yard line. And that was a touchdown for the Two-point conversion. The clock is running. Two and a half minutes left in this game. Brings it to the 35 yard line. 40 seconds left in the game. Two seconds left in the rest of the game. There will be a JV game played immediately afterwards. It'll be a one half, 30 minute half. There'll be a second game after this. Additionally, on Wednesday, the Mountaineers will travel to Livingston for a six o'clock game at Livingston High School. Duncan. And also, this is a busy week for the Lady Mountaineers. On Friday, 
They will host Milburn at 7 o'clock here at Soriano Stadium. So two more games this week. Wednesday they'll play Livingston away at 6. And then 7 o'clock here Friday night against Milburn. Sideline and getting out of bounds is Maya Jean Lewis. Clock stopped for 10 seconds. Third down and 13. Down. 10 seconds left. Pending this one, we'll say we we'll move to 1 0 1 on the season, while West Orange will fall to 1 and 2. Maya Jean Lewis with a great reception. And that signifies the end of this game. Your final score, Passaic Indians 21 Mountaineers 7. Great game. As I said, West Orange will play on Wednesday at 6 o'clock and on Friday 7 p.m. here. Stick around for the JV game.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's the game. Congratulations to the West Orange. Teams were winning 19-0 in the second game. Wonderfully played game. I thank everybody for their attendance and coming out here to support our girls and all the hard work that they do. Thank our security guard, James, your home, smell you later. One of the best in the, in the world trainers for being here and responding to some calls. We appreciate you and the referees. Um, thank you very much. And again, Wednesday at 7, I'm sorry, Wednesday 6 o'clock at Livingston High School. And um, then Friday again here, 7 p.m. against Melbourne. Everyone, get home safely. Have a wonderful evening.
Thank <laughs> you. 